What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the one-arm pull-up or the one-arm chin-up. Both these exercises are a milestone in terms of pulling strength, so I think everybody should work towards it. Took me a very long time to finally be able to do one from dead hang. But yeah, I think it's getting more and more common. I see a lot of rock climbers do it, gymnasts, calisthenics. There's a lot of tutorials online, but I haven't seen one done by a parkour person. So I hope this video will give you a little bit of an insight of how I train my one-arm pull-up. Alright, let's go! Alright, before you start working on your one-arm pull-ups, make sure you have a really good pull-up. Also, you should be able to lift maybe half of your body weight doing a pull-up. And also, you should be really good with one-arm hanging. Like, it shouldn't be too hard for you to hang on this. Once you're at that stage, you can start working on a couple of assistant one-arm pull-up. One finger, one hand pull-up. If that's too easy, you can use a pole like that. And one hand on top. Try to pull. You can also use a resistance band or you can also use a lever assisted pull up. Another very important exercise is the negative. Hold the bar really close to your chin and then let go one hand. Go down as slow as you can. Hold it, you can lock up and then down, lock, down, and down. This exercise really taught me about tension. Trying to keep your body really close to the bar, control your descent so that you don't hurt anything on the way down. And it's definitely one of the best ways to progress towards the one-arm pull-up. If you're getting really good with the negative, you can start adding like a dumbbell or an ankle weight. I find that really helps me as well. Once you're really good with the negative, you can start trying to pull with one hand. The idea is that you start your arm span so that you don't have to start all the way in the dead hand and then you try to pull. You can also start doing half reps so you don't go all the way down you just stop somewhere here and then you start pulling again something like that some other things that help with the one arm chin up they may not be very specific to the one arm pulling motion but like rope climbs they are quite similar because you're pulling up with one hand and then trying to reach out really high with the other and on the way down also try to do it slowly so you are actually doing a negative version of it weighted pull ups with the chin ups there's no question the heavier you can pull up the higher chance of you being able to pull your body weight with one hand as well I think one of the hardest part of the one arm pull up is the part where you have to start from the dead hang I find it better if you can start progressing to find a bar where it's just nice height where you can start somewhere here and then just, just get used to the motion of pulling also one reason why it's so difficult from the dead hang is that it actually puts a lot of stress in your shoulders and your elbows so one arm pull-ups make sure you have a lot of rest in between your training days I myself haven't had a serious problem from one arm pull-ups which I'm lucky but yeah I, I would still say definitely don't overdo it I took a while to get over the dead hang now I'm pretty okay with it but the top out is still really hard for me I think that comes with a lot of practice or just being really strict with your weighted pull-ups trying to end really high on top same for the one arm negative Try to start really high and try to keep your chin over the bar for the longest time before starting to lower it. One of the most common questions about the one arm pull up and the one arm chin up is the differences between the overhand and the underhand grip. To me, when I do a overhand grip, I try to have my body facing forwards, legs a little bit to the side. But for the chin up, I have to twist my body a little bit facing to the side and then pull up. And then the goal is to always keep your shoulder really close to your chin so that you don't have that extra space that would lose some tension in there. I think one-arm pull-ups are the way to go because in parkour, we are always doing lachets like that, climb-ups like that. So train your one-arm pull-ups. And lastly, grip strength. You want a lot of drop. At the start, I would recommend you finding a really, really solid bar with a lot of grip. That definitely helps you pull up a lot easier, I feel. Okay, I know I'm not an expert in the one-arm pull-up chin-up, but I feel like I've been training for it for a while now. I struggle a lot with consistency especially. So some days I feel like I'm a little bit heavier. Even if it's just 1 kg heavier, it makes a lot of difference in terms of how much I can pull, how, how many reps I can do. And also, I feel like once I do one rep, I'm going to get really tired and I have to rest for a little bit before I can do the other rep. 
I've definitely made a lot of progress since then. Right now, my maximum is 4 reps on the right, 3 reps on the left. My goal is to finally hit 5 reps consistently. But I think it's all about practice, it's all about making it a habit. Every day you walk past a pull-up bar, try to just do 1 or 2 reps. If you're still working towards it, then maybe do a couple of assisted one-arm pull-ups, doing some negatives. Just work your way towards the one-arm chin-up. So for me, I put a lot of effort in it because I really want the one-arm pull-up. Actually, my main goal is to get a one-arm climb-up. But yeah, I think I have to work on the explosiveness of the one-arm pull-up before I can even try to attempt it on a flat wall. Also, I'm really keen to see more people in the parkour community start working on their one-arm pull-ups. So if you have any questions or if you just want to share with me your progressions, you can always just do that. Other than that, just keep hustling and keep grinding. One day, you'll finally be able to do that one-arm pull-up. Awesome. I also find that weighted negatives are 